All right, so I have been wanting to make this topiary for a long time. Come check out the farmhouse topiary we're making today. And don't forget, in the description box below, I'll link as much as I can for what was used. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, for now, let's get started with today's video. Here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and some organization, but all on a budget. For this topiary, I took two balls from the Dollar Tree, as well as a stick, Oh, the balls are two different sizes, by the way, as well as the stick from outside and some reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree also. And then, of course, you have to have hot glue to put everything together. I stuck the skewers through and then I just added some hot glue and then stuck on the moss. After I completed the first ball, I noticed that I could see some of the ball through the moss. It was really hard to get enough moss on there to cover it completely. So, I just mixed together a couple paints. This gave me a better base on the ball so that if I did miss an area with the moss, that the ball didn't show through with all of its bright colors. At some point, this original ball that I painted disappeared, so I had to do a new one. Once again, I just added some hot glue to the ball and then pressed on the moss. I went ahead and used a sticky note to press on the moss so the hot glue didn't seep through the moss and onto my fingers. I did this all the way around and I was careful not to get the hot glue on the skewers because I didn't want the ball to stick to the skewers. Well, I tried to be careful. You'll see in the end I did get some hot glue on there, but it's okay because we can fix it. And here's what it looks like completely covered in the moss. This is the middle ball that we will be using. So here's kind of what we're going to finish the project with. We got our rocks, we got the heart piece, which is upside down, the middle piece, and our biggest piece, as well as our container down here. And then, of course, we have the hot glue and some extra moss. And there's Bubby talking in the background. Hey, Bubby. Hi. He'll be our uh, co-host today. So this pot is probably the most expensive thing I got. I got it for $3.99 at Goodwill. I just like the color because I painted my girl's room a like purple as well as a gray and a white. So I liked this color and I thought it would look nice. I'm gonna take some of the floral foam. Right now I have it holding my moss. But I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna put it in here and then we'll continue. All right, so first I forgot my scissors, then I got it and I forgot to hit record. So I've cut this piece and I'm just putting it in the bottom here. And I'm gonna push it as far down as I can get it just so it holds really steady. And then I'm gonna put another little bit in there, but you can see this is too much. So I'm probably just gonna trim it a little bit and shove it in there. And then we'll go ahead and continue covering it. So we have our pot filled with our floral foam and yes it does make a little bit of a mess so it's best to have a um, whatever you call it and then I had already stuck this big ball on the stick so now what we're gonna do is add our middle one and our last one and you can trim off any of these little pieces hanging off or anything that you're not liking what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stick the bottom part of the stick into the base here so I can see a little bit better where it's going to be and I'm going to try and get it pretty centered okay so I think that looks nice I think that'll still give us enough space I'm going to leave it there and since when I was doing the middle ball and the top ball I did stick some uh, I can't think of what these are called but I stuck them through there to kind of help create that hole and that way it should be easier getting it onto this stick let's see if I was right or if we need some help. And the hardest part is if you get some hot glue on the sticks, which I did a little bit here. So you just want to try and avoid that when you're gluing everything on. It didn't really make a hole, but once I have it on the stick, I'm going to hot glue it. And then I'll just go ahead and put the hot glue right there so that it holds and it doesn't show and it'll look perfect. So you can see right here at the bottom, I've stuck the sticks through and they're just hanging out right at the base. And that's where I'm going to put the stick and then I'm going to push and I just want it to kind of follow those uh, other pieces that I originally used as placeholders. Ta-da! And that just makes it a lot easier to get on there without making it a mess. All right, so, so far so good, right? Yes! I'm gonna use some of the rocks. These are Dollar Tree rocks. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of them in the bottom. I'm gonna put them in like here so there's those gaps and I'm going to fill them in a little bit. You can get different rocks too if you don't want to use the white 
this is just going to give it a little bit of weight. You could even run outside and grab some rocks, honestly, if you wanted to. Okay, we're going to be adding more rocks in the end because I want to give it a little bit more color than just all moss. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue in this spot right around the trunk of the tree. And really, I'm just going to load it up. I'm not going to be too careful. I'm fine with there being a ton of hot glue. I'm just going to want it to hold steady. So as much as you can get down the hole that you've made and all around it. And now I'm just going to give that a little bit of time to dry. Once that dries, we'll come back and we'll kind of finish up the top and we'll hot glue this and the top one in place. But I don't want to hot glue the middle piece until we like where the top piece is. So we'll give that some time and we'll be back. Now that we got this all dried up, we're going to go ahead and add this. And I did originally put the skewers all the way through, but we probably won't need that because it's just going to be sitting at the top. But I wanted to be careful. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I can go ahead and put hot glue through there and that'll also help it to adhere to the stick. It didn't really turn out all that heart looking, <laughs> but I don't mind it because it's a shrubbery. So I still think it looks cute. I could add a little bit more moss up here and that would give it a little bit more of a heart feel. Now what I'm gonna do is remove this and I'm gonna do it the same way I did with the middle ball. I'm gonna push it to the bottom. So they're just hanging out at the very bottom. And then I'm gonna use the stick to kind of push it through. And that way I know it's getting in the right spot. Okay. So, it's kind of close together, so I'm going to lower this one just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add the hot glue at the top. So here you can see where the stick was, so I'm just going to put my nozzle in there. Start pumping hot glue. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and come down here to this middle one, put some hot glue around the base where it connected. Now I need to let all of that dry so that it can cure and hold steady, and we'll be back again. Now what I'm gonna do is take some more of the reindeer moss, and I'm gonna place it down around here. This I'm not gonna hot glue in, unless I feel like it's not staying and looking nice. I always try and make these projects so that I can take them apart and reuse the stuff, so that's why I'm not really gonna hot glue this moss in. Just really want it to look full and get all around in there, and I'm kinda tucking it down into those places where the rocks are. And now because there's so much green and there's not very much color, I am going to take some of the rocks and I'm just going to sprinkle a couple of them in there in a few places. There we go. I kind of like how that looks. It's not, I mean, it's pretty just random. I didn't obviously plan where I was putting them. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm adding these in for weight, but also just for some color. Next, I'm going to get some little flowers, tiny, tiny flowers. The smallest flowers I can find, and I'm just going to kind of add them throughout a little bit. So let's get that started. Still a bubby hanging out with us back there in the background. But I'm going to take some of these flowers. I have some purple flowers. And there are a couple different ones, both from the Dollar Tree. I'm doing the two different ones just because they look similar enough that one looks like a bud and one looks like the flower has bloomed. And I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them in, but not all over, just on the front because I going to have the back towards a wall so it won't make much sense to have those there. We are going to use some hot glue but first I'm going to go ahead and put them around to see if I'm going to like where they're at and then we'll go in with the hot glue. Yeah that's going to work just fine. I would prefer to have more but I'm using leftover flowers from other projects and so I don't have <laughs> more of these same ones and I don't want to make the flowers too too different so and I don't want a lot of color to it, just because that's not the point of what we're making. But I do like having just a little extra something to it. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below, did you like it before we put the flowers on, or did you like it more with the extra pop of color in the flowers? All right, guys, there it is with a little pop of color. We'll go ahead and get you a final look. What? Thanks for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed and give it a shot. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.